Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Today it's a cold, snowy day in Iowa, so we don't have a lot of solar production, but we're not going to let that stop us. We're still going to talk about solar panels. Let's get into it. Was what type of solar panel should I pair together with my power stations? And the primary use case, Delta Pros, right? And what I found out is though there are some panels that um, are not optimal for the Delta Pro, um, just because they're limited in how many you can arrange in series. Pretty much any solar panel will work. You just got to make sure you work within the, the voltage limitations of the Delta Pro um, and you want to kind of configure them so that you can get an optimal uh, alignment uh, of panels. Okay, so I have here some Canadian Solar 545 watt bifacial panels. This one in particular happens to be damaged due to a shipping debacle that I'm still working out, but never mind that, we won't go into that. These are, I think, very highly regarded. Um, they're usually used more in commercial installations, although they could be on residential. Um, but I just wanted to give you a sense for it. They're huge. <laughs> they're massive. They weigh about 70 pounds each. They're 90 inches long by, I think, 45 inches wide. Um, pretty, pretty big uh, panels. Um, which you would expect for 545 watts. Contrast this, my Calpha Solar, the beautiful Calpha Solar, 100 watt panel, to the, the Canadian Solar. I mean, it's night and day in terms of size, right? Like, this is much smaller. Um, okay, so I've laid these out on top of the 545 watt panel, and what you can see is that the surface area of the 400 watt Calpha Solar panels is, you know, at least lengthwise, almost exactly the same. The difference is that this one has uh, this surface area here that sticks out beyond what the, the 100 watt panels have. Here I have a 200 and mm, maybe a 250 or 240 watt panel that I got from Santan Solar. Um, and then of course I have the 100 watt from Calpha Solar here. And obviously, it, this one's beautiful and much smaller, but it's also only 100 watts. This is the best value you can find on the market. Uh, hands down, I don't get a referral from Santan Solar. I don't get anything from them. But what I can tell you is that these, use, they're used panels. They're obviously older panels. That's why even though they're only 250 watts, they're still pretty big. Um, they're not as big as the 545, of course but they're pretty good size compared to the 100 watt. They're just not as efficient. These are probably, I'm not sure, I'd have to double check. I think probably like 17% efficient. So they're bigger, um, but you can get a pallet of them shipped to your door, especially if you do like a Black Friday sale or something like that uh, for like $1,100. Uh, so you're probably like, okay, that's cool. I, I get it. Big panels for big production, small panels for uh, smaller production, but ultimately, approximately they add up to about the same, right, surface area. So if you need um, to pair your, your power station, whether it's a Delta Pro or something else, which should I go with? Should I go with the, you know, a few big panels or more of the smaller panels? Things to keep in mind. If you're a DIYer, average guy like myself, I do not pretend to be an expert. I am I'm just a everyday homeowner who's interested in solar, try to make it work without getting too deep and, and, and also trying to do it relatively safely, but also relatively affordably, right? So with those considerations, uh, when I, you know, if I'm going to be putting solar panels out, that's, it's going to be me doing it. Like, uh, you know, I don't have the budget to hire, uh, you know, a team to come in and do it. Um, and that's what my channel and these videos are geared for. Someone who just wants to understand some basic things um, and, and, you know, I, my, my mantra is if I can figure it out, then, then probably you, you definitely can figure it out because I've made some really dumb mistakes. That said, right, so when you're considering something like a, a big 545 watt, watt panel like the Canadian Solar versus the 100 watt by uh, Calpha Solar, few things that stand out. So I'll first I'll go through the advantages of the smaller panel, the Calpha Solar panel, that I, I honestly did not understand up front. One is um, it's more flexible in its voltages. So depending on what power station you have, if you have a Delta Pro like I do, 
you can only go up to 150 volts. Um, that's the maximum. And, and usually you need to be under that by about 10, 15% uh, to be safe in lower temperatures. <clears throat> so with the, the Calpha Solar, with those being a 20 volt um, open circuit, that's pretty easy to, to adjust, right? Like you, <laughs> you can just put them together in series and then, um, you know, if you did, let's say seven of them, maybe you'd only do six, six or seven in a series, and then you do a parallel, you're gonna be well within your, um, your, your requirements, so to speak, and still producing really good power. So it gives you a lot of flexibility Whereas in the, the Canadian solar, for example, that's a 50 volt um, panel. It's just not as flexible. And, and particularly if you're um, working with a lower voltage system than say even the Delta Pro. So you're, you're working with maybe like a 100 volt system. That 545 watt panel is probably not going to work for you. Because you can't even put two of those in series without really you know, risking damage to your, to your unit. So that's one, one advantage that the Calpha Solar 100 watt panel has is that's just more flexible in terms of the voltage alignment. And, and number two, they're more flexible in terms of the footprint, right? Like, so if you're mounting these, um, well, let's say on a roof or, or a camper or, or wherever, um, you're probably going to have like attic vents or um, chimneys or who knows uh, what might be, you know, uh, obstructions on your roof and an in antenna or something like that. Well, with a 545 watt panel, you don't have a lot of flexibility. You need a gigantic uh, surface area that you can put that down on. And if the next spot is, is kind of obstructed, you're going to have to move significantly around or over or somewhere else to put on another 545 watt panel. With 100 watts, um, you've got a lot more flexibility. You can move around that without um, sacrificing a lot of surface area. So that's another big advantage that the 100 watt panels have over the, the 500, and, you know, the bigger panels, let's just say the bigger. So the next advantage, and I mentioned this on my review of the Kalfa solar panels, but I just can't overstate this if you're working with these, how, <laughs> how appreciative I am. These connectors make it so easy to connect and disconnect the panels that um, it's a crime that other <laughs> panel producers do not make theirs like uh, the same design. It's just so convenient. Okay, the next big advantage, and this is huge if you're a DIYer like myself. 100 watt panel, I can pick up one-handed and move it around. It is so easy to, to get it in place, mount it wherever I want to. I can do these without a problem. The 250 watt panel, I, I can do it, but it's, it's taxing. The 545 watt panel at 70 pounds, 90 inches, it's a beast. It is absolutely a beast. I've done it. I've actually lugged them up uh, you know, onto, onto a roof or onto a ground mount and different things like that. It is taxing. So unless you've got friends that, that you don't mind imposing on, <laughs> um, Something to think, keep in mind is, you know, maybe you don't want to order some of these bigger panels because if you're going to be putting them up in place by yourself, you are going to be drained doing it. And I think the last big advantage for the small panels is that the Calpha solar panel in, in, in particular is 23% efficient. The Canadian solar panel, uh, the big one, is only 21%. Not a huge difference, but it is different. That means that you're gonna get more practical production um, per square inch, if you will, from the Calpha solar panels than you are from the, the big Canadian solar in this case. All right, let's talk about the bigger panels now, right? So what are the advantages there? Well, bigger panels means that you don't have to have as many panels, right? Like uh, for the same amount of production. Let's say I had one of the the 545 watt panels, um, well, I'd need four to five of the uh, smaller panels to get approximately the same practical production of the panel. So depending on the cost difference, that may or may not be you know, as practical or feasible. Uh, the other advantage, of course, is then you have less connections. Uh, so you know, if you uh, had four of the bigger panels, then you only have four connections, whereas in, uh, equivalent, equivalently, you might need to connect 
10 or 12 or whatever of the smaller panels together. Um, small, not a huge practical advantage, but something to think about, right? Okay, I've, I've probably missed some things, but I, I think I've gone over the big differences. The, the biggest thing is that you're not gonna get around um, limited uh, space, right? Like it's not like there's this some amazing panel out there that just um, is able to produce so much more power than any other panel, right? <laughs> that, that's not gonna happen. So whether it's a big panel or a small panel, um, you're gonna have some, the some maximums that you can get to. Now, uh, if you were to ask me now, if I were to start um, fresh and what would I consider buying just a lot of the smaller panels versus um, less of the bigger panels, I think I probably would consider do going with the smaller, particularly the Calpha solar 100 watt panels because I'm very impressed with them. And they give you a lot of flexibility. So if you're, you're pairing them with different power stations with different VOC uh, maximums, they're going to give you the most flexibility to work with those. And, and you know, if you're working with a big high powered unit, you can just keep adding more on. So it's, um, there's really not a downside for it other than you might need more mounting hardware, assuming you're mounting them, um, because there's more panels versus less panels. Hopefully this was a little bit helpful. I think it was kind of fun. Like I said, it was things that I did not know when I got into solar. Wish I'd known. I don't know that, um, Anything's groundbreaking here, of course, but it might be helpful if you're considering your next purchase, which direction you might want to go, or if some of these considerations are things that you need to think about. All right, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If not, we got a lot more coming. Uh, I'm excited about uh, some of the, the videos in development. So until next time, take care of yourself, stay warm, at least if you're in one of the colder regions, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.